Hey everyone, today we are going to use functionality of Shizuku with Termux. First I will show you method to set up Shizuku using computer, but if you have already done that in your application management, in Shizuku is enabled then you should skip to this timestamp. Let's begin. We will enable developer option by clicking 7 times rapidly on MIUI version. I have Xiaomi device therefore I am clicking on MIUI version, but if you have any other device, then you may have to click 7 times on build number which is mostly found in about section of the phone setting, which you can see on your screen. When you see pop up saying, you are now a developer. Click on back button, go to additional settings. Click on developer options, scroll down and enable USB debugging. After that enable USB debugging security settings. Enabling this option is very important otherwise you can't run Shizuku in Termux. There are specific settings which needs to be altered in different devices, which you can see on Shizuku's official website. Link is in description. Now we will install ADB in our computer, link to download ADB setup is in description. For installing ADB double click on ADB setup.exe. It will open an installation window, inside that type Y, press enter, again type Y, press enter. It will ask you to install device drivers, again you will have to type Y and press enter. When the installation is completed open CMD as administrator. You can type ADB to check whether ADB tool is installed or not. Now connect your device with the computer using a USB cable. Select charge only mode, or no data transfer and click on back button. In CMD window type ADB devices and press enter. A pop-up may come in your Android. Just click on checkbox saying always allow from this computer and then click OK. This pop-up comes only if you are doing this for first time. Otherwise ADB devices command. List all connected ADB devices. Now go to Shizuku's official website. Link is available in description. Click on user guide, scroll down and find the section where commands are written. The command which is required to activate Shizuku is available in app as well as on their website. Copy the command for Shizuku and paste it in CMD window and press enter to activate Shizuku. Shizuku is running will appear in the Shizuku app, and also make sure that authorized applications option is not faded in Shizuku. If this option is not clickable then you should rewatch this video, or read user guide on Shizuku's official website. Disconnect your device from computer and open ES File Explorer. Link to download ES File Explorer is available in description. It will ask you for few permission just allow its storage permission, and deny all others. Click on internal storage, then three dots on top right corner. Choose new, folder. You can name it anything. Press OK to create. After creating folder, open Shizuku, click on, use Shizuku in terminal apps, then click on export files. Choose your device internal storage and open the folder which you created in ES File Explorer. After opening the created folder, click on use this folder. Click on allow. This will create two files in our folder which we have to edit using ES File Explorer. Open ES File Explorer, find and open the folder which you created. Click on the file name Shizuku, open it, as text, in ES Text Editor. Click on Edit and replace PKG with com.termux. Click on save, to save the changes. After that click back button. Press and hold Shizuku file.
Click on More and select Properties. Click on Copy Full Path. This path will be used in Termux. Open Termux and give it storage permission. For doing that type, Termux hyphen setup hyphen storage. Click on Allow. Now type S, H, space, and paste the path of the Shizuku file which we copied from ES File Explorer. Hit Enter. Now again type S, H, space, file path, space, CMD, space, hyphen L, press enter, a pop-up will come from Shizuku, click on allow all the time. You can use all the function using the command, S, H, space, Shizuku file path space, your options. You can also use Shizuku functionality in other terminal apps. You just need to remove PKG with the package name of the terminal app which you want to use.